तो भाई इसके साथ एक सेकेंड फैसेट में आते हैं जो इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट है एंटरप्रेनर्स लाइफ और फाउंडर्स लाइफ आज एम कफीन में हम कितने लोग हो गए अबाउट थ्री फिफ्टी तीन सौ पचास जब अपन मिले थे कितने लोग थे चार पांच लोग पांच पांच छह लोग अब जर्नी फ्रॉम फाइव टू थ्री फिफ्टी ऑल्सो मैन दैट हायरिंग एंड द राइट टाइप ऑफ हायरिंग इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज उसी से आपका नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ टीम बैठता है L1, L2, L3 उसी से आपका नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ लीडरशिप बैठता है अब बहुत आसान है लोगों को कहने के लिए भाई कि हायर स्मार्टर देन यू हायर ब्राइटर देन यू हायर हंग्रियर देन यू हायर चैंपियंस लेकिन यार जो फाउंडर का शिद्दत है वो फाउंडर का शिद्दत है जो फाउंडर का जुनून है वो फाउंडर का जुनून जो फाउंडर का पागलपन दिया फाउंडर का पागलपन दिया आई पर्सनली बिलीव भाई The closest to successful replacement of founder mindset that you can get to in your L ones, L twos is if the passion is somewhat similar, if the madness is somewhat similar. On certain aspects, they might be smarter than you, but overall, if their intelligence is somewhat closer, है ना भाई? My question, therefore, to you, to advise a lot of our viewers that when you look at hiring. अगर हम ये सब ब्यूटीफुल जो कहावत जो फ्लोट करता रहता है इसको हटा के प्रैक्टिकलिटी में आए वॉट आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ हायरिंग द राइट पीपल नंबर वन वेर डू यू सी द ग्रीन स्टोन टू से ये दीज आर एब्सोल्यूट टिक्स इन द बॉक्सेज एंड वी शुड गो अक्रॉस एंड हैव दैट इज इट द डी एन ए इज इट द फैब्रिक इज इट दैट एंड टू एंड विजन इज इट होलिस्टिकली अ पैकेज ऑफ मल्टीपल थिंग्स एंड पैरलि भाई वॉट आर द रेड फ्लैग्स टू से कि यार ये बंदा शायद या बंदी शायद बहुत ज़्यादा रेज्यूमे के हिसाब से बोलो स्टोरी के हिसाब से बोलो पैकेज के हिसाब से बोलो दे लुक अमेजिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट कहीं ना कहीं एक बहुत बड़ा रेड फ्लैग है तो इ रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द पैकेज ऑफ हाउ दे आर लुकिंग एट प्रेजेंटिंग वी विल नॉट गो क्रॉस एंड टेक दिस पर्सन ऑन आर रोल्स बिकॉज ऑफ रॉन्ग हायर कैन क्रिएट होता है ना शीशे के दरार शीशे के दरार मिटते नहीं है भाई तो यू डोंट वॉन्ट दैट कल्चरल दरार कमिंग इन बिकॉज ऑफ रॉन्ग हायर्स so to deep dive and go a little granular bhai take us through your journey of and i know you spend a lot of time in hiring tarun spends a lot of time in hiring both of you have you know emphasized a lot of times publicly also that hiring is extremely important in any founder's life so bhai how does the hiring mindset evolve what are the things that you have looked at as a founder what are the things that you think are an absolute go versus an absolute no go very right. so uh the most important thing that i feel is the diversity should be there there is no what do you call it, team which does not have a variety of people so obviously there is a sandbox in which you want everybody you don't want people out of the sandbox diversity of gender diversity of character diversity of mindset or combination of everything basically everything right you need different kinds of people so for example this is um, this for example gender diversity and so these are very what you call uh, factual and very very objective this should they be there but even more than that there should be diversity of personalities there should be diversity of work cultures and so on now for example uh, in a startup ecosystem the fundamental requirement is one of the strict guardrails is people should be okay with working outside their comfort zone which i define as hustle as the important hustle of sorts you get out of your comfort zone you should be able to do things because startup mein aapke paas utna bada ecosystem nahi hoga a large company can give you so many resources ways and stuff so that is basically hustle you just need to structure that uh, hustle put it together define comfort zone a bit more go a little more granular is it only time is it only vertical is it beyond all of that what is what is comfort zone according to you what is basically a startup a startup is an entity which cannot shield you from uncertainties right so the quantum of uncertainties in startup is way 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 beyond than an established system per se that's the fundamental definition of a startup i don't because frankly speaking even at our size and stuff there are established companies of this size right but we still call ourselves a startup which we are at the same time there are there are companies which would have slightly fewer people but it's a it's an industry and it's it's a it's a, it's a business it's an established business hum abhi bhi humne aapko startup hi bolate hai bhai advertisers we are still a startup 
which is the perfect way right and because i call it the david syndrome so i'll explain to you what a david syndrome is okay. i call it a david so, syndrome but go ahead so little bit of pity for your people as well because they are handling the uncertainty bilkul but because uh, we are cre- creating the certainty correct <laughs> and uh, <coughs> so that's the part of it so the level of uncertainty that comes in with the startup and part of that uncertainty is because your ambitions are somewhere else right. right it's not that you want to stabilize here you want to achieve something else and again the path to that will you know bring in a lot of uncertainty so people will have to deal with that and a lot of people great people you know great knowledgeable structured systematic people they are not tuned to handling uncertainty they thrive in an ecosystem that if they are given certainty they can achieve way bigger and this is nothing about good bad or whatever it just that they, they need that stable structure they need a stable structure and maybe they can do much better bigger jobs than some of these other people who actually thrive in that unstructured system and they can deal with those uncertainties and things that happen uh, along the way in our case that is absolutely critical and there has to be an ability to hustle through it which is basically deal with that uh uncertain right then basically people need to figure out a way how to coexist okay now in this pursuit and that that's what you call the culture fit of sorts right so culture fit is not about you know your uh, how do you behave or how do you party or you know how do you gel it's basically how do you adapt to other people in the system along with you how much stay, space do you need from them how much space do you give them how do you gel along how do you work along because what will happen is in this fast growing ecosystem these definitions of teams and what roles and what task people have to do it's a part of that uncertainty right that also will keep us alone so not only people will have to what you call reorganize themselves mentally and you know the challenges that come up from over a period of time it will also be different people you have to coordinate with different entities Same structure way. different entities most often than not you will actually be working with a lot more inexperienced folks because that's what a startup is true right fundamentally we are building things for the first time how do you work with them how do you build them across right how do you allow somebody else to build you up so that those are the very very critical guardrails so by the way tarun does spend a lot of time on I on know. hiring and and he is very very uh, meticulous about Um, you know, putting effort and time on on onto some of those things, and what are the red flags? Very difficult to judge people that way, right? So I'll tell you some of the things that any instance, boy, जहाँ पे ऐसा हुआ कि यार लगा कि यार top है, right? और कुछ ऐसा situation या ऐसा sign आया जहाँ पे बोला irrespective of being top, हमारे system में नहीं fit होगा. So people who cannot challenge the system are a big red flag for the startup, where you know people say yes to everything. So you don't want yes men around you. You don't want uh, yes men around. You. you want people to go across and sit, stand up and say, "Shayad, ye galat hai." Is tarikas se bhi ho sakta hai. Correct. At the same time, you want people that you know. Um, how do you how do you calibrate that where the person does not overstep the boundary? So very difficult, right? It's basically it's a, it's a sixth sense that you develop after talking to so many people and you have your mental benchmarking. So it's it's a little bit of both ways. You want that you know that people. Sh- you should be able to challenge those people people should not have that you know my way or the highway kind of a thing at the same time they should be able to say and come up and tell you that are vikas ya aap sahi nahi soch rahe ho let me tell you a better way why don't we think along these lines right so that also is a stakeholder mindset it's a stakeholder mindset so you want people who are stakeholder that's an absolute necessity overall bahut zaruri hai bahut zaruri to aapko ek instance batata hu as to why i say that dna and fabric matters the most hai na Our journey has been similar. You've seen us literally from the time when we were four, five people to where now we have grown to about eighty odd people. You have seen us from that four hundred fifty square foot office to where today Vertices is three offices, including a beautiful office in your beautiful city of Bangalore, as or Bangalore as ever, whichever way you nowadays you all refer to it. Beach, man, why? Uh, when everyone was going through the situation of COVID, right? God's been kind with us. God's been kind with us because. nobody in the ecosystem of vertices faced a personal loss that itself i think was a very big uh, essence of gratitude everything else though is secondary because sab kuch aap fir se rebuild kar sakte ho that you can't right but as we were growing during that point of time i remember very clearly bahut sare log aise aa rahe the different types of conversation karne ke liye and different people wanting to join i still remember one very interesting episode that had happened so there was this one um, partner from a law firm 
and I don't want to take names. But uh, young partner, he approached saying that he is very inclined to join us. He had a book. Let's take the example. Just for example, six. कि भाई उसके पास तीन करोड़ का book था. मतलब भाई if I join the platform. ये तीन का मैं दस करोड़ बना सकता हूँ आप लोगों ने यार कुछ ढंग का मचाया हुआ है कुछ कर रहे हो आप लोग सो so, कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग हो सकता है तो हम सोच रहे थे समझ रहे थे अब बातों बातों में ही वॉज आस्किंग कि भाई फॉर्म का स्ट्रक्चर क्या है उस टाइम पे हम थे करीब अराउंड चालीस पैंतालीस पचास लोग तो जब ब्रेकअप हुआ उस ब्रेकअप में पता चला कि भाई अबाउट चालीस लोगों के बीच में पकड़ लो आपकी तीस ऑर्ड होगा लॉयर्स दस ऑर्ड होगा नॉन लॉयर्स है ना तो उसका पहला क्वेश्चन था वाई टेन तो हमने बोला कि भाई कुछ ऑफिस बॉयज़ हैं कुछ स्टाफ है कुछ एडमिन है कुछ अकाउंट्स है कुछ ये है फ्रंट डेस्क है तो इसलिए यार इन सबको फायर कर दो ऐसे अच्छा क्यों भाई तो बोला कि यार आपका ऑफिस अभी खुल नहीं रहा है सब कोई ऑफिस बंद है वर्क फ्रॉम होम है लॉकडाउन है ये है कोई ज़रूरत ही नहीं है क्या करोगे आप ऑफिस बॉय फ्रंट डेस्क फलाना निमकाना लेके फायर देम एंड इट सेव्स यू इन स्टेट ऑफ इम्पैक्ट द बॉटम लाइन सो so, मेरे को ना बहुत हंसी आई उसमें इंटरनली कि मुझे लगा कि अगर मुझे कभी उस हिसाब से बॉटम लाइन के हिसाब से इम्पैक्ट करना है सो आई वुड नॉट डिडक्ट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज़ फ्रॉम मेट्स एव अ पार्टनर जिसके लिए दैट रियली वुड मैटर बिकॉज इट्स पिटन्स बट हिज व्यू इज टू से कि यार वो पंद्रह बीस हज़ार अठारह हज़ार पच्चीस हज़ार वाला जो ऑफिस स्टाफ है उसको आप फायर कर लो जिसके शायद उस बीस हजार रुपये में चार लोग पांच लोगों का फैमिली चल रहा है सो आवर इंटरनल कोर जब हमारा को फाउंडर्स का मीटिंग हुआ सो वी विल स्माइलिंग अबाउट दिस वे वी सर कि इस बंदे का अगर तीस करोड़ का भी बुक होता ना भाई सो वी वुड नॉट टेक दैट पर्सन सो वी विद हार्ट जोड़ के हमने बोला वी आर नॉट गुड इनफ फॉर यू सो दैट कैनॉट हैपन वाई आई से दिस भाई इज इट गोज बैक टू द डी एन ए इट गोज बैक टू फैब्रिक इट गोज बैक टू एसेंस ऑफ That culture, that fitment, कि अगर वो आपका गलत हो गया तो धीरे धीरे सारे जगह पर ना आपके दरारे शुरू हो जाएंगे एंड यू नेवर बी एबल टू क्रिएट एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू नेवर बी टू क्रिएट एन इंस्टीट्यूशन सो फॉर मी डी एन ए मैटर्स अ लॉट आई रिमेंबर हैविंग दिस कन्वर्सेशन विद यू ड्यूरिंग कोविड एंड यू नो आई वॉज वेरी हेजिटेंट इन शेयरिंग विथ यू दैट वी आर नॉट फायरिंग अ सिंगल पर्सन एवरीबडी इज इन देयर यू नो विद एंड देन यू शेयर नहीं 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 हम लोग भी किसी को फायर हम लोग चलो ठीक है दैट्स अ बेटर वर्ल्ड दैट्स अ बेटर वर्ल्ड बिकॉज अगर काटना है तो खुद के पेट काटेंगे ना uh-huh.